Hi everyone. Welcome to Fingers Fums and Fits, and in this episode of Titty Piddle we are continuing with the heroes from Dungeon Saga Origins. It's Madriga's turn today, the Elf Ranger, and last of the four core heroes. Can I keep the paint inside the lines? Let's find out. Before we begin, I would like to point out that for some reason, I either didn't take them or I lost the pictures for this paint job. So I'll try to explain it as best as I can, using the pictures I have. I apologize in advance if this becomes a bit chaotic. But, we started with a base coat of white scar. At least that was nice and simple. Her cloak got two coats of auric flesh. And her armor boots and gloves got a coat of XV88. Madriga's skin was given a base layer of Rakarth flesh. Don't worry, I'm not painting her as a drow, it's just a base for the lighter tones to follow. I then also colored some other details. Her arrows fletchings and tacit trim had Caliban green, her hair got Averland sunset, and the shaft of her arrow got some lead belcher. Now for a bit of shading. Her cloak and fletching got some beel tan green, her skin and hair got seraphim sepia, and the leather details got a wash of snakebite leather. I also gave the tips of the bow a coat of retributor armor, before washing the bow and trousers with apothecary white. It was then time for a few highlights, starting with the skin, which got a highlight of pallid witch flesh. This left her quite pale though, so I applied a 3 to 1 mix of contrast medium and gulliman flesh to her skin, just to bring back a bit of warmth and color. I finished by giving the hair a highlight of aerial yellow. So, what do we think? Did I manage to keep the paint inside the lines? Please let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again for the next one. Have a great day everyone, and I'll see you later.